Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, wherever you're listening in from. My name is Stanley Ikechuku. Now, in this video tutorial, I will be teaching educators and parents how to go about um, some things in the Google Classroom. Now, what I want to look at today, firstly, is the the way of answering, um, replying to questions or assignments on the Google Classroom. Now, sometimes we'll have a case where um, questions are sent in by the teacher, and then the child or the parent finds it difficult to um, navigate to be able to answer the question correctly. And sometimes, even when they're able to answer the questions, uh, the teacher still finds it showing as not turned in. So now, in this tutorial, I will be showing how we can answer questions and it shows as turned in on the teacher's dashboard. So very quickly, I am on my dashboard. On this dashboard, I am logged in as a student or as a parent. Now, for instance, if I am a student and I'm logged in into my Google Classroom, and these are the classes I belong to, okay, I will go straight to the particular class that has um, a question for me to attend to. Okay, of course, that would have come in by mail or by um, a message. Now I am going into year four Ruby as a student. So I click in it. All right, so it's loaded up. Now, as soon as I'm in, I hit um, the classwork button. Okay, the classwork button. And now these uh, options are shown. Now, this shows that I've got two um, more like classwork or assignments waiting for me. One is class assignments, one is a question, okay? Uh, now, anyone you want to answer first, it's same pattern. Now, I'm going to click on this question here, which says, would teachers be replaced by robots in blah, blah, blah. So that's the first question. So what I'll do here as a student who logs in into their dashboard or a parent who logs in into um, their child's dashboard, I'll click on the first question here. All right, now this drops down. I'm seeing that there is a material for me to read or go through. Okay, and also there's an option to click on the question. Now, if I clicked on this material, this is what's going to happen. Okay, now the material opens up. All right, so if the teacher has sent in something for me to read, I'll click on the, the title of the material and I'll read through. When I'm done with reading through it, okay, I shouldn't just end it there. What I have to do is go back, go back to this dashboard where I started out from, okay, and go to the question. You will see the view question, view question. Now, as soon as you click on view question, now it opens up um, a bigger page or a wider, wider page for you where you see the whole question. Would, would teachers be replaced? Would teachers be replaced by robots in the future? What do you think about this? All right, now it's an interactive question that expects me to give an answer, not just a yes or a no, I have to explain. So the child is better to answer something. So now we, we have observed that um, a lot of children or parents just go straight to the class comments under here and post their answer. Now, whatever answer is posted here, remember it's showing class comments. Every other child is gonna see depending on the setting the teacher has placed on the class uh, classroom, okay? Now, if you put a comment here, it means you want everybody to see it. But ideally, this is not where you should go to, all right, to answer this question. This is where you have to go to, where you have your answer, okay, your answer, because it's showing that it's been assigned to you, it says assigned, and then your answer. Now, you can see the turned in button is grayed out, okay, because um, no answer has been put in yet. So, I click on type your answer and say, okay, the question is, will teachers be replaced by robots in the future? What do you think? I think that... Blah, 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 blah. Good. So whatever the child has decided to provide as the answer. Now you click on turn in. Okay. So the child clicks on turned in. It says you won't be able to make changes to your answer after you've submitted because the teacher restricted it. So I say, yes, I want to turn it in. Click on turn in and wait for it to load up. Good. Now it shows here turned in. Okay. Which means the child has uh, submitted his assignment with a notification to the teacher. Now, if you go on the private comment, I can go on to say, hi, sir, or hi, Mr. Stan. The question, 
was a bit blah 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 <clears throat> excuse me would you mind would you mind explaining further on blah 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 good then i'll click on this button here that says post now the teacher receives this as a private comment so this gives the um the child and the teacher an opportunity to interact on the question that has been asked so if there are areas the child did not really understand the child posts um a comment there to the teacher directly and no other child sees that except the teacher but if the child goes on on, to, on the class comment to post anything every other um, child logged into that class will see it so now let me log in as a a teacher to see if this has been sent in so that we don't have a case where the child has done this and the teacher still says uh, um, it's not been turned in so i'll be logging in as a teacher okay good all right so this is another um, account i have logged in as a teacher in the same class so the child answered the first question that was sent in would teachers be replaced so when the teacher clicks on it now it just sees turned in one turned in beautiful it means a child has turned it in now how does the teacher know the child has turned it in the teacher goes to view question and then you see the child's email you see the child's question the question the child has asked in addition to the answer the child posted this is the answer the child posted here now this was the question the child asked the teacher, teacher can click on it and it shows the question the child posted in addition to the answer now of course the teacher can go ahead to assign a mark or a score or a grade to the child it's okay for answering your quest your question you got a 99 whoa that's super good 99 over 100 okay so after doing that what the teacher would then do is just click on return now after clicking on return Okay, so a student will be notified and can check any grade you've left. A teacher can decide to add a comment in addition to the grade. Say, well done, well done. You have done blah, 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 blah. All right, so the teacher clicks on return. Now this is returned to the child's dashboard in the child's classroom. It says one submission returned. Okay, so... Let me go back as a child and see if the child is going to see that. All right. So this was the page I was before. So I have to refresh. Click on this button to reload this page. Okay. Wait for the page to reload. The child can decide to log out and log in again. All right. Good. So I'm seeing the teacher's reply to my answer. Teacher says, well done. You have done blah, 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 blah. Good. So the child still thinks that there are other areas that needs clarification. The child will go ahead to click under the add private comments and um, interact with the teacher up here you see it's been graded which means the teacher has allotted a score to the child and the child goes to the left to see what grade or what score has been given to him or her so that's pretty easy how you can go about answering your question sent in by the teacher without having to um, go through so much troubles and then the teacher also sees it as turned in okay Thank you very much. Other questions, you can ask them through um, your child's teacher or you can send a message, direct message to stan at ikechuku, stan ikechuku at gmail.com, stan ikechuku at gmail.com. Okay, so do well to like this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more simple solutions to this in next series we're looking at um all the things we could provide to you